Hey guys, what is up? Happy Saturday. <laughs> Welcome to Community Mining Rig Showcase number, uh, wait, 68? 68. Almost 69. <laughs> That'll be next Saturday. Perfect. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, roll call. Let's do it. The Deadwood. What's up, man? Life is broken. What, how, what, how's it going, man? Uh, Guild War, Jay Bohannon, Thomas O. What's up, man? The guy in the thumbnail. Uh, Cat Lover, uh, Crypto Jason, Crypto Jason, what's up man, uh, Boris, oh, Crypto Mining Lifer, what's up man, you made it, uh, let's see here, who else we got, Nightcloak, we got K. Scott, uh, Shakester 2010, Markman, K. Scott, M Mick Coslin, Coslin, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, and, uh, Bobby, Marksberry, Jimmy C, what's up guys, <laughs> Ah, uh, how's everyone doing on this wonderful Saturday? How's it going? How's it going? <coughs> yeah, I have something stuck in my throat, cat lover. Okay. <sighs> Alright guys, so... First... First things first, we uh, began our last episode. We ended off with uh, Mon Tanker X. Okay, so let's begin this community mining rig showcase number sixty-eight with Nino EU. Okay, he says here I have five XFX 580 eight gigabytes, five Aorus RX 580 eight gigabytes, three hundred and twenty mega hash now on ETC, fourteen fifty watts. Oh, right on. Okay, let me uh, blow this up here. All right, what is this? What's this Bitcoin confidential core? Need trans? What is this? Is this like a wallet? Is this like an online wallet or something? Or uh... oh, that's interesting. Dan the Dane, what's up, man? Bit King Ross, what's up, man? How are you? Modding twelve fifty seven hundreds, nice fifty six to fifty seven mega hash, very nice. Doing the red BIOS, uh, red BIOS editor. Uh, timings, the 1500, 1500 timings and up. Is that is that what you did? Uh, Big King Ross, let me know. Okay, let's take a look at Nino's uh, rig here. All right, so he's got the good old wooden cabinet or uh, shelf here, and then he's got these uh, good old zap strapped RX 580 Aorus Gigabyte Aorus cards, and then he's got some XFX here at the bottom of the shelf. Crazy. Good old spaghetti cabling. I love it. I love it. And uh, let's see what other pictures. Oh yeah, he's got another pick here. <laughs> this is like the metal brace for the for the wooden cap for the wooden shelf here. That's pretty funny. Uh, awesome, awesome. Uh, okay, let's keep it going here. Um, oh, that's all the picks he has. Okay, uh, Nino EU. Thank you so much for the pick, man. Okay, guys, keeping it going here. Uh, Baking Ross, nah, it's meant for Navi mostly. Ah, okay, nice. The red BIOS tom timing tool. Yeah, from Igor or Igor's lab or something. Yeah, BIOS modding the 5700s. Okay, next up we have Jazek. Good old Jazek. Jazek, how are you, my friend? Okay, so it looks like you have a single Radeon 7 here, and this looks like the Sapphire box. This looks very similar to the Sapphire edition. Uh, Radeon 7. Very nice, man. Uh, who doesn't like Radeon 7s? Seriously. <laughs> Alright, Jezak, thanks so much for the pick. Okay, next up, guys, we got SQ, SQG37. He's got four Vega 64s, uh, 580, 580, and a 560. Oh, Alright, let's see this. He's getting 30, uh, 301 mega hash at 822 watts. Probably AMD card, so he's probably more so up to a thousand, maybe twelve, eleven hundred watts at the wall. Uh, Rosewill for you server rig with nine GPUs. Ah, ah, yeah, here we go. Very nice. Look at that. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. So I'm assuming each of these Vegas are getting like fifty mega hash, and then. Uh, uh, and, and then the XFXs are doing like 32, 33, or 34 or something. 33. Hey, Jazek! Oh, Jazek's in the live chat. What's up, man? <laughs> oh, my Radeon 7. Yeah. 
Big King Ross, if you do the math, these cards are extremely efficient versus players. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh. The, 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 the Navi cards are amazing. They're amazing on, on uh, ETH hash. Just a matter of cost. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. If you're willing to, sh if you're willing to shell out the uh, extra money uh, to buy the Navi cards, then, then go for it. I mean, uh, you'll probably save on the efficiency over time. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, SG, SQG37, thanks so much for the pick, and Jazek, yes, nice Radeon 7, my friend. Jazek, I'm sure you have a lot more of these Radeon 7s somewhere. <laughs> Alright, next up, guys, we got Katil Arap. Katil Arap, what is up? Okay, so, looks like you got a GTX 1070 for the win, and looks like you have a Sapphire Nitro right below it. Uh, running on a MSI motherboard, and uh, what is, what what is, a Cooler Master? Ah, oh, Cooler Master CPU cooler, very nice. And then you got a fan here just to cool your GPUs. That is awesome. <laughs> Cat Katil Arap, thanks for the pick. Okay, keeping it going, guys. How's everyone doing? Smash that like button. Welcome to Community Mining Rig Showcase number sixty-eight. Uh, pro hashing server is down. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Orly! Orly, hello! Nemesis, what's up, man? How's it going? Okay, guys, next up we have Ground Level Paint, and he has got some insane... Uh, some insane boxes here. Alright, so he's got just piles and piles of like 5700 XTs. Uh, specifically the Sapphire Pulse and then he's got more he's got some power color Red Devils 5700 XT's and then he's got some Radeon 7 boxes here he's got six Radeon 7 boxes from XFX and then he's got 12 uh, no not 12 uh, 1200 watt HX 1200i Corsair power supply boxes here that's pretty ballin oh my goodness that's uh, this whole picture here is worth probably I don't know, I'm going to say 15 grand, 12 grand, a lot, definitely a lot. Uh, okay, so looks like he already has it built on the metal shelves here. Okay, so he's got the Amazon Basic shelf, and then he's got the 8 GPU Veta frames, and then he's got the 5700 Sapphire Pulse cards on these frames, very beautiful, with the ASRock H110 Pro, BTC Plus Pro motherboard, Corsair, 1200 watt power supply. And then he's got the Radeon 7s at the bottom here. Man, that is killer. That is killer. Uh, let's see here. He's got some more picks here. Oh yeah. Okay. He's man. He's got some nice. He's got some nice lighting over here. Accent lighting. Okay. So looks like he's got this in his kitchen. That's interesting. So I'm assuming he doesn't use his fridge anymore or doesn't wash any dishes. Uh, so that's that's a thing and then he's got uh, yeah he's got more rigs here on the on the right he's got more Radeon 7s uh, looks like he's got more 5700s and then he's got one of these uh, man I forgot one of I forgot what these server cases are called uh, but uh, yeah that that that's a that's a that's a non non standard 4U or 6U server case I think it's a 4U uh, but it's much wider it won't fit in a standard like uh, 4U server rack but uh, yeah, pretty nice, man. Look at that. Radeon 7s and 5700s together. Uh, he's got 1, 2, 3, 3 Radeon 7s on this one, 5 5700 XTs on this one. That is pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. Well, uh, oh, we still got more some, some more picks here. Oh yeah, so here's a little bit closer up of uh, this like uh, Amazon Basics shelf rack thing here. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so he's got like a, a boiler room. Okay, I'm assuming this is maybe like a office space, maybe, because there's a fridge and kind of like a kitchen thing, but then the boiler is right there. Hey, it could be a house. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's it. Uh, ground level paint. Thank you so much for the picture. <laughs> Cable management 101. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, Big King Ross, that's a minor dude case. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, th this, 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 uh, silver, the silver case here. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Thomas O, Costco rack case. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. Okay, guys. Uh, Chan Coin, thanks so much. All right, uh, keeping it going, keeping it going, and we're gonna go now to block underscore chain. And actually, he's in the live chat right now. Go to old Thomas O. Thomas O, explain to us what you got going on here. Actually, uh, well, actually, we can probably figure this out. You have eight MSI Gaming. Uh, no, Gaming X. This is the no, not the Gaming X editions. These are the MSI Armor editions. Four seventy-eight gigabyte. Nice. Ah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, eight of them, and then what? What do you got? What do you? What are you running here? You're running some Ubuntu. Um, is this like Hive or? Uh, nope. Uh, this looks like your own, possibly your own mining package, mining OS. I'm expecting this is your own OS. Expecting. And uh, and yeah, seriously, you got some. Uh, you got some nice, you got some nice wall-mounted monitors here, and then you got this insane, insane like C13, the C14 possibly cabled like PDU wall-mounted thing going on here. That's 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 baller. Oh my goodness. Uh, Crambu Crambu OS. Oh, okay, so okay, so this is your own, this is your guys' own software. That's awesome. Crambu OS. Yeah, I remember your insane like Crambu mining cases stuff. Uh, that 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 is that is crazy. Uh, we're gonna get to your picks coming up real soon. Uh, okay, uh, thanks Thomas. Thanks for this picks, man. All right, next up we got Little Slip. Little Slip, what's up, man? Okay, so you have a single eight GPU Veta frame. Is this eight GPU? Yeah, eight GPU Veta frame. Nothing on it. Looks like you're getting ready to build something. And uh, at least you got a Corsair case over here. Oh, that's that's cool, man. That's cool. A uh, little slip. Let us know if you've you've probably built something in it. You've posted this on March 30th, and it is now April or no May 16th. So, <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. All right. Next time we have clicks. My first GPU ever. Wow. First GPU ever. RX 470. Clicks. That is nice, man. Look at that. RX 470. Very very good card for starting. Uh, to get into mining, that's that's wholesome. That's awesome. Clicks, thanks so much. Okay, uh, next up we have uh, Crypto Apocalypse. Crypto Apocalypse, what is up, man? Okay, this looks pretty cool. All right, so this looks like one of those Hydra cases from Amazon. Uh, looks like he's got four XFX 5700s. These are the black. Thick editions, I believe. I think that's the black uh, thick editions. Um, yeah. So this is yeah, yeah. This is like the insane like six uh, U. Yeah, six U like Hydra server case uh, style for you. Uh, able to put in a server rack. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Dang. Dang. I've always wanted one. I always wanted one of these actually. I was thinking of buying one, but uh, I know that they're pretty pretty hefty. Uh, but we'll see. That's cool. Crypto Apocalypse, thanks so much for the pick. And uh, all right, next up we have Last uh, Last uh, Haze. Just picked up this for fifty-two dollars Canadian. This is my first time. Oh, right on! Look at this. This is the eight GPU Veta frame. Beautiful frame. Good frame. Terrible to build, but awesome frame. A lot of people have this. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the this is the uh, this is the tried and true. Mining frame. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Last, last it has. Thanks for the pick. All right. Next up, we have Crypto Bane. Will PM for phones. <laughs> uh Crypto Bane. What do we have here, man? All right. Looks like you have some kind of. What is this? Is this like a little tiny like FPGA thing or something? Uh. What is this? Maybe it's just a computer. What is this? Uh, huh. Not quite sure what that is. USB power block. It's a big USB. Oh, uh, J Fan Fantasmita. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, USB charger. Oh, okay. For for a second there, I was I was like, 
are these are these like little like air holes? I thought that was little air holes, but then looking at it closer now, yeah, you can see that these are all USB ports. Holy smoke! A hundred USB? Eight hundred watts? Oh my god! That's insane. I have never seen this before. That's insane. Made in China, obviously. Uh, 100 and 100 to 130 volts. Okay. Uh, that is nuts. 800 watts. Th uh, 100 USB charger. My God, that's insane. Well, that's. I guess that checks out because his name is Cryptobane Will PM for phones. So I'm assuming he is phone mining. That is definitely hilarious. Wow, that is that is pretty funny. I just want to see all of these populated with phones. I just want to see each of these plugged in and then seeing if this set can actually handle up to 800 watts. That's that would be that would be pretty that would be pretty funny. Uh, okay, Crypto Bane, thank you so much for the pick, man. And if you see this, let us know if you have 100 phones on it by now. Uh, you did post this on uh, April 1st, okay? So about two months ago. All right, uh, next up we have Dan the Lion. Dan the Lion, what is going on, my friend? You have some beautiful Radeon 7s here. Look at this. P55D. Oh, wow. You got this on an older Intel chipset motherboard. I think the P55 is, I think, the uh, second gen Intel days. I'm trying to remember, like the Sandy Bridge. 2700K, 2600K, i7 processor range, i5 something, yeah, uh, P55. I think that was that was the range of the of the uh, uh, that was the days of those Intel P CPUs. Um, awesome, man. But you got two Radeon 7s hooked up to this motherboard, so that's awesome. That's working good. And uh, what other picks you got here? Oh no, that's it. Oh, okay. Well, down the line. Thanks so much for the pick, man. That's that's awesome. Um, can't fault that motherboard. 50,000 hours of mining, no crash. Oh my god, that's crazy. Dan the Lion, thanks so much for the pick, man. <laughs> it's Crypto Bane. I talked to him yesterday. His into themselves. Yeah. Yeah, Dan the Dane, exactly. He's into those uh, cell phone mining. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, uh, next up we have Mr. Brian J. My two rigs top eight. XFX 580s and bottom four Radeon 7s. Oh man, let's see this. Let's see this. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, eight GPU Veta frames. Uh, he's got eight XFX at the top. Oh no, nine. No eight. Yeah, eight XFX at the top and then four Radeon 7s at the bottom. And uh, looks like he's mining. Uh, he's using the mining expert boards. Yeah, the ASUS mining expert board. And he's got four 1,000, no, two 1,000 watt G2s and a 1,300 watt G2s on the bottom Radeon 7 rig. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. That's really good. That's really good. Bris Mr. Brian J, thanks so much for the pick. Everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Community Mining Rig Showcase number 68. Smash that like button. And I uh, hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. And... Uh, uh, it's maybe it might be the long weekend for some of you. It's gonna be the long weekend for me. I have the Monday off uh, in Canada. We have a special holiday and uh, Yeah, good times guys good times. Hope you're all having a good day. Okay guys next up We have crypto clutch one of my mods and also a youtuber and a massive uh, reasonably massive uh, mining guy has a has his own mining shed um, he's got I believe 800 800 amps I think he has 800 amps I'm not sure I think it's 800 amps of power at 240 volts and uh, he's got a lot of servers he's got a lot of switches he's got a lot of a6 and he's got a bunch of graphic cards I think these are all p104 100s yeah these are the EVGA p104s and he's just got lots of stuff going on here. Um, you guys should go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, it's uh, I believe it's Crypto Clutch. Let me let's let's go there. Let's let let me uh, open it up a second screen here. One second. Uh, Crypto Clutch. Crypto Clutch. Let's get some subscribers over to Crypto Clutch. And uh, let me see here. 
Yeah, he does have a YouTube channel still. Okay, good. <laughs> I think he said he's going to be uploading a video real soon. So this is his channel right here. And uh, guys, I put it in the live chat. Please go subscribe to Crypto Clutch. Good old Crypto Clutch. He just posted a video two weeks ago. Uh, he's got 438 subscribers and he has all of his videos here of, uh, of his mining shed, building his mining shed, setting up the electrical, setting up the air and uh, exhaust and all that kind of stuff. Really great videos. If you guys are going to do a shed, you should go check him out. Pretty good experience here. And uh, yeah, I appreciate this guy. Okay, Crypto Clutch, thank you so much for the pick, man. And let's keep it going. Oh, you actually have a night shot of your of your farm here. <laughs> Just like LEDs galore. LEDs on everywhere. Obviously, like risers and ASICs have LEDs. And uh, that is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay, Crypto Clutch, thanks so much, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, uh, next up, guys, we have Faye. Faye. 325 and uh, Orly yes I would love a shed as well <laughs> I would love a shed as well okay oh my god okay so we got something insane going on here um, this gentleman uh, Faye 325 he's got uh, he's got some high rows of wooden shelves here and these I'm assuming are all I feel like these are going to be all like XFX 580s, 570s, 8 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte cards, mining, Ethereum probably, these look like all like the same cards. But he's got a lot of them here, oh my goodness, it looks like he's got it in some pretty ballin looking like house here. He's got like a little chandelier, he's got, he's got recessed, he's got a recessed ceiling, he's got some gold plated huge big ass painting here. Uh, maybe some like gold aluminum like front door thing here gate chandelier look at this look at this guys this looks pretty ballin uh, and then he's got like marble floor definitely definitely he's got something nice going on here uh, crypto nefarious no worries take care my friend nefarious have a good one <laughs> thanks for coming by man uh, okay, uh, yeah, Fay three twenty five, looking good, my friend. I like this. If you see this, let me know what you guys, what you got, what you got mining here. Definitely have a decent size operation going on there. Okay, uh, next up we have Yochiro. Yo, yo, Yochiro. Uh, thanks for the advices and help, Glen S. Khaled. Finally got my first rig ready to mine. Four GPUs on the way. Oh, nice. Look at this. Oh, he's got some. I believe these are the fifty seven hundred XT Red Devils. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks that looks really good. That looks th these are really nice cards. I like the LED stuff on them. That's pretty killer. Man, I think I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of these now. I, I just love that. I love these. I love these red devils. Oh too bad they cost an arm and a leg in Canada. Red Devil 5700s. Definitely, definitely really nice. Hey, Savage Mine. Savage Mine, welcome. Happy Saturday. <laughs> thanks so much. Okay, Yochiro, thanks so much for the pick. All right, guys, next up we have uh, Blockchain yet again, and he's in the live chat. Uh, he has not a mining uh, picture here, but he's got a networking picture. And you guys, you guys can see here, he's got some beautiful, I believe these are one footer, uh, one footer Cat 6 or Cat 7 or Cat 5, probably Cat 6. Uh, cabling here going into these uh, these uh, patch panels into the network switches and he's got good old HP network switches very nice and uh, man look at that this is, this is the most this is this is really clean really clean he needs to replace this this ugly looking cable here and this one here as well and uh, definitely replace that cable as well but otherwise pretty clean Pretty I mean, you can't get any cleaner. You can't get any cleaner than this. I mean, like one footer, cat five, cat six cables, and uh, uh, coordinated with. Actually, I've actually never seen it like this, where the patch panels are like above and like above and below each other on each of the network switches. I think that's that must be pretty hard because you got to have uh, with the patch panels, all of the cables from behind have to go like above and below the network switch. So. 
yeah, definitely probably some really good cable management stuff is going on in the back there. Ah, oh, blockchain. Thomas O. That's sick, man. When did you didn't run those? Oh, you didn't run the. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. That is awesome, man. Looking good. That looks awesome, man. So clean. So clean. Oh, um, ah, you don't have any more pictures of networking? Come on. Oh, I love that stuff. Okay, blockchain. Thanks so much, man. Okay, next up we have X Parasite, my first 6x MSI 1660 Ti rig. Oh, oh yeah, this this is a nice rig. This is a really efficient rig. Hmm. Okay. So, so 1660 Ti's, and uh, I don't know what mining frame this is. I think this is a custom. I think this looks custom. Actually, I'm not quite sure. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. I think no. This is definitely custom made. I think it's a custom made frame. He's got a little power button switch here on the on the right. That's awesome to turn it on. And 1660 Ti's are like super low power consumption, and uh, probably running like under 500 watts. That's for sure. Oh, he's running an ASUS mining expert board. That's that's pretty killer. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Savage Mind, Yankee, Yankee, what is up? What is up, man? Savage Mind, how's it going? Orly, you guys in the live chat, how's it all going? Welcome, guys. Hope you're all having a great Saturday. Okay, uh, great picks, great picks, great rigs recently, guys. Man, you guys are insane. All right, X Parasite, thanks so much for the pick. Okay, next up we have Grits69 Ford F100. Oh, I love his name. His name is so funny. Top is a 5 RX 580, Sapphire RX 470. And the bottom is my water cooled Radeon 7. Oh, water cooled Radeon 7. Where is this? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, this looks like his Radeon 7 right here. And he's, wow, okay, I've never, wow, this cooler has like the Radeon 7 logo or name on it. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. And, uh, wow. Okay, so he's got like an Amazon basic shelf. He just has like a, he's just got them resting, and he I think he's got some zap strapped cards here. Yeah, some sapphire nitros, and uh, man, looking good. EVGA power supplies, just nice hardware, nice hardware. Grit 69 Ford F100. Thanks so much, man. Dan the Dane looks like Red P's cable management. What does that mean? What does that mean? Dan the Dane is that a is that a is that a is that a bad thing or a good thing? I'm gonna say that was a bad thing. <laughs> Ten the thing. Uh, not a good thing. Okay, Ten the thing. Thanks, man. I appreciate. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> hey, I try. I try. Okay, I try. I have very limited resources. All right, limited resources. Okay. Next up, next up, we have a uh, little slip. Oh yeah, little slip. Yeah, okay, little slip. Definitely. Okay, he had a picture here before, of just his uh, Veta frame, uh, but now it looks like he has it populated with, I believe these are 980s. These look like the Founders Edition GTX 980s or 980 Ti uh, GPUs, and then he's got an MSI. Looks like a Vega card of some sort um, very nice and he's wait he's running it off a server motherboard yes this is like ECC server Xeon dual CPU Xeon server motherboard and he's got a interesting 1200 watt turbo cool oh PC power and cooling oh this is actually a really good brand this is a really good power supply PC power and cooling is a legit brand um, wow look at that Actually, this is a pretty nice rig. He's got some nice hardware here. Uh, little Slip, thank you so much for the pick. Crypto Nuffy, what is going on, my friend? Grit69 Ford F100. Yes, you're in the live chat. Doing my best with what I got. Grit69 F100. Dude, this is the nice. This is a nice rig, man. This is really nice. You got some nice cards. Uh, let let us know what the uh, the water cooler is called for that Radeon Seven. Uh, grit 69 F F100. I'm I'm curious to know about the uh, about the uh, water cooler. 
That's pretty sick. Okay, little slip. Thanks so much, Crypto Bane. Uh, Will PM for phones yet again. All right, so it looks like he's got his first USB. Uh, whatever this is, I am not sure what this is. It looks like it's plugged in by USB. Is that an HDMI connector? What is that? What is what is this? Is this like a Assassin's Creed uh, Lego? What is this? Assassin's Creed? Star Wars? I don't know. Batman? No, that's not Batman. <laughs> Amazon Fire, he's all about them. Oh, okay, Thomaso. I see, I see, I see. That's cool. Fire, Amazon Fire. What what can you do on the Amazon Fires? Like, is it just like ad farming or like... <laughs> A lot. Okay, you can do a lot with the Amazon Fires. Okay. Wow. Is it time for me to get into phone mining? <laughs> How much ad farming can you do? Like, seriously. Probably a lot, I'm guessing. Okay, uh, <laughs> Crypto Bane, thanks so much for the pick. Alright guys, keeping it going here. Aussie Bogan Tech. Good old Ozzy Bogan. Uh, he's got six ARCs, four seventies, and a Vega sixty-four. Ooh, okay, all right. So yeah, he's got it on a good old Amazon or uh, Veta frame, and then he's got. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. He's got like insane blue LED pictures, uh, LED fans here. I'm, these look like the Corsair fans. Actually, I'm not quite sure. But uh, Ozzy, looking good. I think you have some stacked frames upon each other, actually. Yeah, that's actually cool. Thomas O, he says two to five dollars a day. Wow. Two to five dollars a day. That's insane. Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to check out phone mining then. Uh, Crypto Bane. <laughs> okay, Ozzy Bogan, looking good, my friend. Thank you so much. You got 222 mega hash. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks like you got the Asus Expedition cards here, or the mining cards. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, uh, next up we got uh, Blockchain again. Blockchain in the live chat. Good old Tom So, all right, this is this is the, all right. So we've seen actually, I think we've seen this picture before. He's got, I think, insane, insane amount of GPU mining farms going on here, Tom So. And uh, yeah, that that's just that's just killer. I mean, like, my whole farm, all of my GPUs is probably like only two of these rows, two of these rows, maybe three, maybe three actually. I'm probably this many, but he has one, two, three, four, five, six columns of this, and I'm thinking he probably has like a lot of them. Yes, he's like, yeah, it's a team. We're a big team. Not one of this could do. Not one of us could do this alone. Oh, hundred percent. There's no way you could do this alone. Definitely, you would need help to do this. And uh, actually, to put it in perspective, you guys can see the behind of all these. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this insane. Like this is an awesome like heat chamber. All right. So all of the GPUs. Um, I'm assuming are these like. These are like the mining, or no, these have display out. So these are like, are, are these 580s? Thomas O? Oh my god, look at it. Look at this, guys. Look at, look at 470s. Okay, so they're all 470s in these uh, cases here. And, uh, oh my god. Uh, Thomas O, you gotta take a video. You gotta take a video for us. B better yet, better yet, invite me down. Invite me down. I will do amazing video of your farm. I'll make it epic and, and cinematic. I'll make a cinematic mining farm video. That is my dream. That is my dream to make an awesome video. Oh man. Look at that. And Discord won't let me post videos. Thomas, email it to me. Google Google Drive. Google Drive it. Google Drive it to me. Oh, that's killer. That is pretty killer. Look at the 
Oh yeah, you got PDUs upon PDU stuff on the on the right here. I'm assuming all of this is like three phase, uh, three phase. I'm assuming this is all three phase like power distribution stuff going on here. Um, that's 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 pretty sick. That's that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, three three phase. Okay, nice. Oh man, I love it. I love this. <laughs> standing st standing in between this must be pretty hot. <laughs> it must be must be pretty fun actually. <laughs> uh hot with a view of exhaust. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh Thomas O, blockchain, thanks so much for the pick, man. I love your picks. Please please post more picks. I would love to see like a massive picture of all of these of all of these together somehow. I don't know if you can, but dries you off quick. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, blockchain, thanks so much for the pick, man. All right. Next up, guys. Uh, we're almost there. Okay. Uh, we got four Andre Andreas. Looks like he's a code name here. GTX 1050 Zotac for folding at home. Oh, nice. Okay. So it looks like he's doing some. Uh, uh, other the, the the folding at home for COVID-19 research that is pretty killer he's got a PCIe Ubit riser coming out of the back there into this PC that's pretty cool pretty cool ATX power a, uh, ATX case and he's just got going through the PCIe slots there that's pretty cool awesome awesome I mean, do whatever you gotta do GTX 1050 for Dre for Dreas, thanks so much for the pick Okay, uh, next up we have uh, Little Slip. Oh, Little Slip yet again. Uh, Little Slip posted another picture earlier and looks like this is his whole desk setup. And he's actually got a... Whoa, what what keyboard is this? This is an IBM keyboard. Oh man, this is, this is vintage. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's a vintage keyboard right there. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. And uh, looks like he got some old computers at the bottom, and uh, he's got some good old stuff going on here. Is this uh... okay? He's got. I don't know. I'm looking at what this mic is, but this is this looks a, like a pretty nice mic. <laughs> what is this keyboard? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you need if it's like PS2, you need a PS2 to USB adapter. If your motherboard doesn't have PS2, then yeah, you have to use a PS2 to USB adapter <laughs> uh, little slip thanks so much for the pick all right guys keeping it going keeping it going we got max beast 4z mass mass beast 4z what is this man all right so it looks like you got a uh, what frame is this this is not a veta frame I think this is a, oh no this is a veta frame is it I'm confused yes this is a veta frame um, I think he just got a he has a custom like plexiglass option here unless this is a AAA wave frame uh, Strix grid 69 p2 ps2 or serial yeah <laughs> actually yeah it could be serial that's true high-end motherboards still have ps2 because USB won't work under LN2 ah yes Thomas O good call good call good call that's true uh, okay, he's got a Sapphire Nitro, uh, gaming, uh, armor, armor edition MSI cards, and he's got some power color Red Dragon GPUs as well. Very nice, and an Asus Strix card, that is sick. Uh, Max Beast, oh, I thought you had some more picks, but okay, now that's it. Thanks so much for the pick, man. Alright, next up we have Cyber Noob, RX 460, RX 470, RX 480. Uh, two ARCs, 570s, and 121 mega hash. Uh, I still have one more card to go, but maybe tomorrow. Ah, okay. Let's see this. Uh, gotta go later. I'll, uh, Savage Mind, see you later, buddy. Thanks for coming by. Uh, okay, guys, let's take a look at this. Alright, so this is a yeah, Veta frame with uh, XFX cards, and then he's got two Radeon. Uh, these are four, I'm thinking these are 470s, 470s, and he's got another GPU at the back there, I'm not quite sure, oh no, he did say what it was, 
460. RX 460. RX 460. Yeah, so an RX 460 at the end. That is pretty cool. All the fans are populated. Corsair power supply. Solid. This is a solid, solid mining rig for sure. For sure. That is good. Cyber Noob, hey, thanks so much for the pick, man. Uh, still have one more card to go maybe tomorrow. Okay, so maybe you'll post, maybe you'll see, I'll see another pick of you posting. Okay, guys, uh, final picture for the day, and this is actually the thumbnail. This is good old blockchain yet again. He has a, an amazing shot of, uh, of his uh, 25, uh, how many, how many cards per wall, per column here? I don't even know, but he's got, yeah. You, you guys saw the picture before, and you guys saw the picture inside. So, that's pretty killer. I'm, I'm amazed. I love this. Oh, man, I wish I could, I wish I could video this one day. Just have an epic video. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, Thomas, six by six by four. Yeah, so, yeah, so he's got, uh, uh, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 24 per, 24 per column here, um, nuts, 24 times how many GPUs, 6, 8, was it 8, was it 8, was it 8 per case, I think it's 8 per case, or is it 9, uh, let's see here, we, we can take a closer look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, one, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, so yeah, six. Six per... Uh, six per case. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. So he's got just a butt ton of RX 470s. 1,200 per side. <laughs> 1,200. Yes, seriously, 1,200. Oh my god, 144 per block. Mathematic is crap. Yes, Alexander, my math is terrible. Uh, Bobby Marksberry, 1200 per side. Oh. No, 864. Okay, yeah, Techman, 864. <laughs> Bobby Marksberry, thanks for it. <laughs> Wrong number. That's our CTO in the photo. He's the big brains of everything. Oh, nice. That is killer. What a smart dude, man. Thomas O. Thomas, I'm actually looking for a place in Canada. Near me, actually. For subsidized electric. If I can get a little place, I'll be talking to you. I'll be talking to you. 1,728 RX 470s. <laughs> Oh, that's ballin'. Uh, are these the 8 gigabyte or the 4 gigabyte? Thomas O. If these are the 8 gigabyte, you're, you guys are probably set for a long time. Splice to some free electric. Yeah. I wish. I wish. Oh, man. This is so sick. I wish I could do this. One day. One day. I'm looking into it. I'm, I'm looking into it, actually. Um, in my country, or in my province, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I am able to get a business license and get cheaper electric. So, uh, but I have to hit a certain, I have to hit a certain power, uh, a power, uh, whatchamacallit. I, I have to hit, I have to hit a certain power usage. Um, so... And it's requirement. That's the word. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Boris. Uh, so in 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 BC, uh, where I am, the, the province where I am, I I have to hit a certain uh, minimum usage. Uh, so and that requires. I did the math. I would I would need. I, I would I would need thousands. I would need thousands of GPUs, thousands of ASICs, uh, in order to probably hit that limit, hit that requirement, at like two cents per kilowatt hour. But I would need insane, insane amount of capital to initially do that, and yeah, that <laughs> that's that's something I uh, definitely definitely would would don't have. So 
Uh, but in Canada, we have the opportunity to do this kind of stuff. But again, you, you need that initial upfront money to build all this kind of stuff and uh, hit that power, hit that power, hit that power requirement. So, uh, yeah, but uh, guys, that's it for Community Mining Rig Showcase Digital Gold 2.0, the Deadwood. Trust me, I will not do it as what Digital Gold did. Okay, don't don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> oh man, yes, the Digital Gold way was was not a fun time for sure. Um, Dan the Dane, thanks so much for people. No worries, my friend. Dan the Dane, thanks so much, buddy. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby Marksbury. Yeah, exactly. I, I love the guy. Don't get me wrong. I love Digital Gold. I love Digi Gold. But he was not a tech guy at all. <laughs> could have done. Could have done a lot of things much better. Uh, I would still like to see that room in the dark with the LEDs on. K. Scott McCallson. Oh yeah, Crypto Clutch's room. Are you talking about this one? Look at that. Look at all those LEDs. He set up with a way too high electrical rate. People just need to math. Yeah. Next tier up, they start charging for peak power usage. Bad for mining. Um, Yunquin Zhang. Okay, so they only do that for some residential places in Canada. Uh, but for business, uh, you're if if you're able to if you're able to hit that requirement you don't need to do that uh, uh, you, you don't you don't you don't you don't have that extra um, uh, peak power usage thing like you, you, they won't charge you more if you go over that kind of thing so yeah that's sick I wish I had some more solar power yeah <laughs> who wouldn't Peak demand usage f me when I where I used to mine. Yeah, I could I could see that because it, sometimes it goes up double for some people. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to do for Community Mining Week Showcase. We've been streaming for about almost a good hour now, and uh, you guys have any questions? Anyone? I, I'm here to chill still. I'm I'm not doing anything today. I actually have the like, next couple days off. Uh, so how's how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Otherwise, let's let's go check out some. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and close all these pictures. Oh man, I love this picture. I, lo I love this kitchen mining picture here. This is awesome. This is awesome. Uh, this USB mining thing is actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, 100 USB charger. My God. Uh, uh, the Deadwood. I think you could build one hell of a hosting facility and reach the power use easily. Uh, they pay for and percentage. Yeah, the Deadwood. Yeah. Um, I do have people like I do have friends that could help me build it and stuff. Like, so if I if I were to make a mining farm, obviously you guys t like I, a lot of my mods are probably able to come up here. If if I were to make one, that would be pretty sick. Um, Twisted Fate. Sorry for the bad question. How much, how much time does your GPU last, Red Panda? Uh, Twisted Fate. I. It really depends. I, like it seriously. Some people, y your GPUs can last a long time. Some GPUs can last like a year. Depends on heat and um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, looks very Matrix, yeah. Uh, warranty is 36 months. Um, oh, Cryptith. Heard Panda Mining. They figured out the 1660 Super Prizes were wrong and pulled them. I ordered five at $23 a piece. Guess we'll see if I get them. Uh, Cryptith. <laughs> yes, you're not alone. Um, I think a lot of people ordered it and... Uh, yeah. You're not, Cryptith, I, I got your email by the way, and uh, yeah, I, some other people also ordered the same thing. 
<laughs> Orly, I would come as well. Yes, Orly, yes, please help me build. Yes, if if this ever happens, that would be that would be sick. <laughs> Boris, uh, farm cooled by the grace of Canada's North Wall face. <laughs> north Wall, you mean North Face? <laughs> the brand. Uh, 1337. If you change the thermal paste and pads, it can last forever each year. Oh my goodness. Uh, 1337. I actually have a f uh, like those kind of videos coming up in the next week. Uh, changing thermal paste. And it actually lowered the temperatures a lot. Um, the Deadwood. You know this community would rally around you as everyone would stand to profit. Hey, the Deadwood. Thanks, buddy. The guarantee doesn't break while mining. I mean... If you're doing mining on a mass scale, you're probably going to have a card die here and there once in a while. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's ever perfect. Um, Crypto Macau, I missed it. <laughs> What's up, man? Orly, come up here anytime. Um, 1337, Red Pen of Mining. How often do you change thermal paste on main GPU chip? Uh, 1337? One, one, um, I, I actually haven't done any, uh, I haven't done any thermal paste changing up until recently. Um, I have done it in the past on other GPUs, but now so I'm actually changing the thermal paste on all of my GPUs. I'm changing it on all of my GPUs now. Um, Twisted Fate, thanks for your time. No worries, man. No, the, no, the big north ice wall. You're telling me the Game of Thrones wasn't real? <laughs> Tech man, Game of Thrones, not real. <laughs> uh, as, amazing that, as amazing as that show was. Nemesis. <laughs> Nemesis with the, with the, with the cocky, cocky term here. I, I don't kill GPUs. <laughs> Come on, Nemesis. I'm sure you've broken something once in your lifetime. Whether, even though that's not GPUs, it could be a motherboard or something. The hack, the Hackenberg, smart to maintain GPUs. Yes. Crypto mining lifer, just cooked them. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I would donate electrical work and carpentry work, roofing, plumbing. Yeah. I have another Zotac fan re-oil. Meh. Ah. Cryptith, he doesn't kill GPUs. The electric electricity to send them does. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, let me think. How many I've had... Uh, in terms of GPUs dying, um, like actually not working, I can count one, two, three... I've had three Zotac Mini. I've had... Three Zotac Minis die, and uh, I've had I've had uh, because I had like I bought I had like I had like 50 of them. I had 50 uh, Zotac 1066 gigabytes, and like for the past three years of mining, three of them have died, and luckily I was able to RMA all three of them. Um, Orly, no worries. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by, Orly. Have a good day, Orly. I'll see you later. Um, three. 1060s die uh, from a batch of 50 and then I had a uh, you guys know the four Radeon 7s I had the four Radeon 7s die thank god I was able to RMA those um, what other what other what other what other GPUs I'm thinking have I bricked um Ah, I had a R9 30, uh, 3080. I had an R9 380. 380, R9 380, 4 gigabyte card die from Asus. Um, R9 th uh, 3080. And, uh, yeah, I actually R made that, like, a year ago? Two years ago. And Asus honored it, and they sent me back an RX 480. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. I was like, Asus, thank you. <laughs> Oh, like pretty much at the tail end of the warranty, the three-year warranty on my R9 3080, uh, they replaced it with an R uh, RX 480 uh, eight gigabyte card. I was like, 
that is killer. I was so happy that they I was so happy that they changed it. Uh seriously. Seriously. So awesome. Um But yeah, uh RX card. Uh, Techman, I had a 1050 Ti die two weeks in. Got it back. Been going for years. Nice, nice. It it really depends. Like, you don't know. Like, if it's if it's the memory controllers. Like, I, I talked to to. Um, I heard like Bitsy Trip and talking about the Radeon Sevens having terrible memory controllers, and that's why they're dying because I believe he had a whole bunch of them die as well. Um, Derpicarp from Nerd Gears also had a bunch of Radeon 7s. He had the RMA as well. Um, hundreds of people have had broken Radeon 7s and had to RMA them. So I think the, the R&D on, on the Radeon 7s, specifically the XFX ones, are just terrible. The Silicon Lottery is, like, terrible. Just terrible on the Radeon 7s. Um... You have, I'm on GPU's profit looking for it, yeah. <laughs> looking for profit, yes. <laughs> Everyone is, we're all, we're all looking for profit. Oh, no, 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 we're not, okay, actually, I want to show you guys pretty, something pretty funny about uh, coin market cap. They added this exchange button here, okay, exchanges, and now they have their Binance, their Binance uh, exchange at the top of the list here. And, and the only way, that the reason why they have it at the top of the charts is because of this stupid web traffic factor. At a thousand. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? If you go like liquidity, it's like not, it's not Binance. Um, <laughs> oh man, good old coin market cap. Good old Binance. So funny. So funny. So terrible. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I was over 250 mega hash T. Yeah, I wish too. Image on the link sheet running a production line. Ink will fade, change color, be close. First off the line is usually the darkest. K Scott? Oh, interesting. Nemesis, Radeon 7 sucks. I told everyone not to use them. <laughs> No, right? No, Nemesis. No. When did when did when did you when did you say that? I didn't. I didn't. I I never heard you say that before. But that's awesome. You probably said that in the video. I... Sonia Near. Good afternoon, Red Panda Mining. Uh, Sonia Near. What's up, man? Crypto Mikael. Hater. <laughs> Crypto Money Lifer. What's up? Uh, Thomaso. Dollar per hash on sevens Navi cards is trash. Yes. Yes, it is. If you're buying. Do not buy. I got my Radeon Sevens for three hundred and fifty dollars USD. That was the, the best deal I've ever seen it anywhere. <laughs> three hundred and fifty bucks used. Obviously, four of them bricked. Had to return them, but I got them R made. Thank God. Thank God. Cat lover. The buy volume are first two. Yeah, buy volume. Are they first? Uh, Binance, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Binance being volume, yeah. But but seeing the web traffic factor thing is kind of stupid. I think that's kind of stupid. Um, does anyone know where to look for RX cards that aren't an arm and a leg? Uh, the Deadwood. Um, I think Nerd Gears just posted a whole bunch of 580s on their website. Um, I don't think they have a lot of stock of the 580s. They got the RX Red Devils. I think I have um, a whole bunch of them coming actually. Uh, Sapphire Nitro RX 580, 8 gigabytes are in stock. I think they have a bunch of these. Um, what? MN, MN, no. MN, Nemesis, do you know nothing? No, MN, that is, that is definitely wrong. <laughs> no, Nemesis knows everything. Techman, the Deadwood, Best Buy, 5700, non XT MSI, 329. Ah, uh, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't for the life of me buy new 5700s right now. For me and Canadian, they're like 600 bucks. Uh, 
K, K Scott may call it. Don't be mean to GPU Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> GPU Jesus. <laughs> yes, because Nemesis has the beard. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, GPU Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. We're calling Nemesis GPU Jesus from now on. Uh, J. Bohannon, are the 580s 8-pin power or 8-pin and 6-pin power plug? Uh, J. Bohannon, um, let me, I totally forgot. Let's see here. Yeah, so the Red Devil 580s are 6-pin and 8-pin. And the, uh, but you can run them on a single 8-pin, okay, for mining. Uh, we tested that. Um, the Sapphire Nitro, I think, is the same thing. A uh, six pin and an eight pin. Yeah. Six pin and an eight pin. Yes. Um, you guys probably want to see USD pricing. I have it in Canadian. Uh, so they are 134 USD. Oh, man. Literally, last year, these used to be under 100 bucks. Would have been the best time to buy RX 580s. Now they're now they're going up in price. Crypto Mikel, so much yes, name change. Yes, I agree. Crypto uh G GPU Jesus. <laughs> GPU Jesus on YouTube. <laughs> that would be so funny. Ne Nemesis turning to GPU Jesus. Uh I bought a buttload of 580s back then. Nice. K Scott. K Scott. No, no. What have I started? Yeah. <laughs> what have you started? Earl Lat. 5700s are very difficult to get them stable. Um, yeah. The. Especially if you BIOS mod them to 56 to 57 uh, mega hash. I've had some issues. I still. On my 50th anniversary, even at. Yeah, 56 mega hash, it's. It's really unstable, like, really unstable. Uh, <laughs> I'm on call with him, this is too epic, I'm crying, oh my god, Nemesis, yes! <laughs> too funny, too funny. Uh... Spectrum, Spectrum Computers, what's up man, welcome. I'm early, no, no Spectrum, it's over. Community Mining Week Showcase is over, we went through a lot of picks already. <laughs> we ended off, we ended off with this beautiful picture. Look at that. Crypto McQuell, Crypto McQuell tweeted out right by make it happen. <laughs> we need Nip Nemesis to change name change to name change to, to GPU Jesus. GPU Jesus. <laughs> yes. Uh. Uh, the Deadwood. Nerd was great, but look at the cost of 8 gigabyte was $89 not too long ago. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, crypto Mining Lifer, no worries, my friend. Have a good day. Yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna close out the stream now. Thank you guys for tuning in to Mining Rig Showcase. Uh, I had a good... A good day today. Uh, guys, go, go enjoy your day. And, uh... Gonna go relax and and stuff. Do some uh, do some uh, errands and stuff. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, tomorrow, part one of my building my Vega 56 rig is tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Bit truth. Oh my God. Bit truth. Holy smoke. Bit truth. I haven't seen you for so long. Bit truth. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and blockchain. What is going on, man? H I hope you're doing well. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Crypto Mikel, he changed his name on Twitter. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I gotta check that out. I gotta check that out right after this. Alright, guys. Peace out. Peace out. Have a good day. Bit truth. Oh my god. Have a good one. Alright, see you guys. Have a good day. Peace out. See you tomorrow. <laughs>